This is a case of a lamellar macular hole with preoperative visual acuity of 2080. The OCT demonstrates the typical degenerative lamellar hole appearance with lamellar hyperepithelial proliferation as well as a uh, top hat appearance. Here in this first part of the vitrectomy, indocyan green with D5Ws placed on the macular surface and then a finesse loop is used to elevate the tissue to create an ILM flap from which both the ILM and the ERM tissue is going to be removed. Once the uh, tissue is elevated, a Tano asymmetrical forceps is used to elevate both the ILM and ERM tissue together and it's brought up to the whole edge. Care is taken to really go to the edges of the flap of the tissue to elevate and get a large uh, purchase area rather than um, pulling from the center and avulsing the tissue from the macular hole. Again, going and working from the periphery toward the center of the hole allows and makes sure you have a large purchase area which can then be used to stuff the hole at the end of the procedure. Once the tissue is firmly brought to the hole in, from each side, from, uh, the tissue will then be trimmed with the microvitrectomy on shave mode and an effort not to remove the entirety of this tissue. Finally, an air fluid exchange is performed to then uh, allow for a complete gas exchange and placement of the patient face down at the end of the procedure. Care is again taken not to uh, uh, revulse the tissue at the time of the air fluid exchange. Postoperatively, the patient has uh, acuity of 2040, three months after the surgical procedure.